Well, hey everybody, how we doing? Um, today is the beginning of our first section of the nervous system. This is the introduction to the nervous system. And um, if you recall um, from the muscular system, the headings that you're going to see here are going to be in black. The vocabulary terms will be in red in all of these slides that we do in these videos. And important information such as details and things like that that you need to know um, are going to be in green. All right, so let's get busy. Your essential question for today is to describe the major differences between the somatic and autonomic nervous systems. All right, so the major structures of the nervous system include the brain and all the cranial nerves, your spinal cord, your spinal nerves, ganglia, the peripheral nerves, then you have sensory receptors in the skin and the enteric plexus in the small intestines. The divisions of the, the um, nervous system include the central nervous system, central because it's centrally located in the body. It consists of the brain, and the spinal cord. Then we have the peripheral nervous system. This is stuff that moves outside to the periphery from the center. Consists of your cranial nerves and the spinal nerves. They have both sensory and motor fibers. And it connects the um, central nervous system to the muscles, glands, and all sensory receptors. Now the um, peripheral nervous system is divided even further. So these are the subdivisions of the peripheral nervous system. You have the somatic nervous system, which is voluntary. This is something we have control over. This includes neurons from your skin, cutaneous, and special sensory receptors in the central nervous system. Also includes motor neurons to the skeletal muscle tissue. If you recall the last unit that we did over skeletal muscle, we discussed that skeletal muscle is voluntary and it is controlled by the somatic nervous system. Next we have the autonomic or the involuntary nervous systems. There are a couple of different divisions for those. These include sensory neurons from the visceral organs to the central nervous system. These would be your internal organs. Um, your motor neurons to smooth and cardiac muscle and glands. And the first division that we see here is the sympathetic division. It speeds up your cardiac smooth muscles and glandular secretions. Your parasympathetic division slows down cardiac smooth muscle and glandular secretions. The enteric nervous system, the ENS, is the subdivision of the autonomic nervous system that controls your gastrointestinal tract <clears throat> and vertebrates. And then you are human, so you are a vertebrate. Um, your neurons are the functional units of the nervous system. The next time that we take notes, we're going to go into more detail about this, but here's an introduction. They um, have a capacity to produce an action potential, which means they have electrical excitability. The body of a neuron has a single nucleus with a prominent nucleolus. Um, they have neurofilaments that give cell, the cell shape and support, microtubules that move material inside the cell, lipofusion pigment, it clumps and it's um, harmless when aging, Ooh. and uh, the nissel bodies which are the chromatic substance, chromatophilic substance which clumps of the rough endoplasmic reticulum are used to restore the peripheral nerve fibers. And the rough endoplasmic reticulum and free ribosomes are for protein synthesis in the neurons. And the processes, or the things that stick off of the neuron, are called, excuse me again, are called dendrites and axon, the axons. All right? So this is your introduction to the nervous system. Not a lot right now, but there will be more to come. Um, let's focus on understanding the major organization 
of the nervous system, of the central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, and all the subdivisions of the peripheral nervous system. All right, um, go ahead and work on your little activity, and we'll can we'll take some more notes later on. All right, have a good one.